This is a Game Caviar production. All right, what's up, guys? My name is Brian Twenty. Uh, just call me B Twenty if you don't mind, please. I want to send a shout out to not having it first off for giving me the opportunity to make this gameplay commentary for you guys, which is it's not much, but um, I just wanted to really jump into something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and uh, just basically come to you guys with a couple of thoughts and knickknacks that I had, throw them together on here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing I want to get into is the whole first person shooter downfall and uprising basically. Um, we all know that Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare and Call of Duty period for the longest had everything shut down which is just everything. I mean, it was hard for a first person shooter to come out and top that, you know, but hands down right now, as far as any shooter, first person that is that I see in my eyes, and these are my thoughts, I think Battlefield has the best first person shooter as far as a massive first person shooter overall quality and looks and things you can do in the game not too many people you know well it's a couple that just ain't with the whole revive and then you know the whole flying the helicopters and jets which I don't see how you could not want to do that you know that's my thing but um if if you play a first person shoot I mean why wouldn't you want to fly a jet or fly a helicopter or a beast in a tank freaking you know all of that but as far as fast pace I mean Modern Warfare 3 has it hands down it'll never be I mean excuse me Call of Duty overall it'll never be another Call of Duty we all know this I mean Battlefield they got the close quarter maps which they help you know what I mean for those who just love Battlefield it helps them but it's just not the same so I mean overall I gotta give it to Battlefield 3 and hopefully Battlefield 4 when it drops, it really, I hope they put flashbangs in it. I don't know if I'm the only one that's been thinking this, but flashbangs and Battlefield, get those cats in the cluster like they usually are, coming through a little corridor or whatever, you can take out a whole team with flashbangs. And I think that's probably the reason they don't have them in there. But <clears throat> I think that the Black Ops 2, I think it's gonna be the really, dipping they chip in a new kind of dip with the futuristic thing. I know y'all probably like that little saying right there. Don't try to cop that. It's trademark and Brian Twain. It's um but I think them dipping into the future, I see that being real, real nice. I mean you can't from the multiplayer trailer that I've seen, it's gonna be nice. I have to it's gonna be nice but I I don't think they're gonna overdo it with it, you know, because it is in the future. So I don't think they're gonna overdo it, you know. But overall, I gotta give it to to Battlefield 3 right now compared to Modern Warfare 3. Right now, Battlefield has it on lock. It's I really think, and I play both games. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy Modern Warfare 3. I'm not down in either game. I just play Battlefield 3 more than Modern Warfare 3, just for the simple fact that that's what most of my friends play, you know. And it's just a little more entertaining to me. Um, another thing, if you haven't subscribed to not having it, you got to check out this, this game caviar movement that's going on right now. I'm really, I, I caught a video one day I was deployed in Afghanistan. I caught one of the videos and it just, it won me over. I just all I can say like just the overall content that not having it puts out and you know, the way that he interacts with the community, you know, he gave me an opportunity that I'm pretty sure with no one else on YouTube have given anybody else this opportunity, you know. For me a no name to make my first video and for him to put it out, you know, it really means a lot to me as far as trying to, you know, get going with what I want to do on YouTube. You know, I want to really become a, a part of the, the movement and hopefully make, make a name for myself in the YouTube community. But, other than that, you know, I really want to thank not having it for for being in the building, you know, keeping me upbeat when I was deployed. Like, I watched all this cat's videos. Like, y'all don't get, like, dude is 
on top of being hilarious, you know, he, he just, he kept me up to date on what was going on in the gaming world, you know, and which was a big help, you know, being overseas and all that. You don't have all the necessities, the, the fastest internet in the world. So like, it would take me like 20 minutes to watch a five minute video over there. It was crazy, but you know, he kept me entertained and <clears throat> I got a few of my friends to check him out. They subscribed and it was just really a big deal for me. But you know what I'm saying? The comment box below, you know what I'm saying? Like this video, thumbs up this video, you know, let me know what y'all think about it. And um, let me know how you feel about the whole gaming community. Um, this is Brian 20 in the Game Caviar Studios. You know what I'm saying? Another upbeat, upbeat day for me. Hope this upbeat day for you. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.